what's up guys welcome back to my channel i am back with another video i know i took like a couple week break but as y'all know i did just get a bbl i mean obviously if you watched my last video um so i've been kind of mm, laying around i can't really do much i can't sit down that's why i'm in my kitchen with my fridge in the background um but yeah, so basically today I'm going to be answering y'all's questions that y'all that y'all asked um, on my Instagram story. I think I posted it like a week ago and I wrote them all down. It's like three pages. I'm going to just try to answer them in detail as much as I can without making this video an hour long. Um, I feel like I need to shorten my videos. They just end up being long like on accident. Like I don't try to make them an hour long. I don't know, let me know if y'all like that or if y'all prefer shorter videos. I don't know, comment down below what y'all think. But anyways, I'm just going to get into it, like I said. But the first question and the main question y'all was asking me was, who was my doctor? So my doctor was the one and only doctor in Miami. I was lucky, lucky enough to get in um, with him. He's booked, like, for a long time, basically. Um, it just kind of happened. Uh i didn't think it was gonna happen but it did and i'm lucky i'm really blessed that i had him as my doctor um and then y'all were asking me where did i go so i went obviously in miami i wasn't trying to do that at first like i kept saying i wanted my bbl done here at home like in houston but it didn't work out that way so i did fly to miami to get it done um how much so and i'm gonna pull out my old phone for this with y'all so i can see the total myself so because somebody y'all were asking me how much my bbl cost and then somebody said what was the total cost like everything everything i ever spent on this trip so that's what i'm gonna do so we're gonna pull out the calculator so my bbl and lipo 360 base like the base price was fourteen thousand five hundred and forty five dollars i know i know but anyways so $14,545, okay, boom. Before you get a BBL, you have to get a physical done, your blood test results, um, blood test results, I mean like a blood test and then a corona test now. I spent $300 at the clinic. Okay, so $14,545 BBL lipo by itself, plus 300 that I spent at the clinic. Plus flights. My flight there was $75 because I booked early. My flight back was $150. So we're at $15,000. And then uh, this kind of answers. Oh, no, it doesn't. Um, yeah, somebody asked where did I stay. So I stayed at my doctor has um, a recovery hotel right across the street. Um, so I stayed there. But that's not included in the price. You have to pay for that separate. That was $100 a night total. I, was, I stayed there nine nights total. Nine nights, yeah. I left on my 10th day. Um, my total there ended up being $1,083. Okay, so that's the hotel. And then my medications, I had to get them the day before surgery. My medications cost $210. We're at 16363 dollars and then, okay, so mind you, I'm not at home. Nobody's cooking for me. I did have to Uber Eats literally twice a day. I want to say I spent about between $50 and $60 a day on food. I'm not sure. I'm just going to say if I spent 50 I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say I spent $50 a day on food. Although it was more than that because my boyfriend was bringing me stuff like water and snacks and shit from like a store. I don't know how much that was. I'm just going to say total on food I spent, excuse me, 500 So we're at $16,863. Damn. And what else? What else did I spend money on? Uber Eats, medications, flights, hotel. Uh, I, had, I took an Uber to the airport. Um, I guess I'll add that. That was like... 40 bucks and I think that's it what is it I'm not missing anything food hotel medications travel yeah so I guess that's my grand total sixteen thousand nine hundred and three dollars so basically I'm not even adding like baggage fees and shit like other little shit so basically total 
my BBL cost $17,000. I know that sounds fucking crazy. Now that I'm adding this up, I'm like, ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm aware. I know there's going to be some people. I've already had people ask me why you ain't just go to Mexico. What the fuck? Why would I go to Mexico? Not that, like, there's nothing wrong with going to Mexico. I know a lot of bad bitches that went to Mexico, but, like, I didn't even want to leave my Houston. So for me to go to Mexico, that was dumb to me. Like, I, I don't care. Yeah, I could have got my whole BBO for, fi like, 5K total. Okay. I don't really care. Um, But, yeah. So seven, basically, everything cost $17,000. Um, How long did I stay at the recovery hotel? I stayed nine nights left on my 10th day. Pain level one through 10. So that's a hard question. I guess, honestly, I'm gonna say six and a half, six and a half out of 10. It was not that bad. Um, do you like your results? I fucking love my results. Although I wish, like my butt's pretty big. Like it's not, it's not like Cardi B, Nicki Minaj big, but I, I love my results. Like, I he did exactly what I asked for. I said, I want a juicy booty and I want the hourglass shape. He did just that. Like, I look I'm popping. Um, did you have to gain weight? I did not have to gain weight. I tried, though, just to, like, help it out. Uh, my starting weight was 118 pounds. Uh, my BMI, I think it was 23. So, it's all based on... It's, it, it doesn't matter on your weight. Uh, it matters your BMI. I think you can't have lower than a 22. Um, but yeah, so I was, I was like, he said I was a perfect candidate for that. Um, I had just enough fat and I didn't even use my arm fat. Like I originally said I was going to do. Um, but yeah, so yes, I love my results. Uh, oh wait, that wasn't the question. <laughs> did you have to gain weight? So no, I didn't have to gain weight. When? I guess, when did I get my surgery? I got my surgery on October 22nd at 8 a.m. Um, where did the fat come from? So my fat came from my stomach, my back, and he actually, cause I have this weird, I, he took it from right here. I guess I had like a really big pouch there and he took it out from there. I was, like I said, I was going to do my arms, but I ended up not doing it. I kind of regret it though, low key. Um, so yeah, my stomach and my back. Um, what made you do it? So I get this question a lot. So basically what every female gets surgery is because i mean why every female gets surgery is because they're unhappy with themselves i was unhappy with the way i looked i mean it, it got really bad to where i was like throwing away clothes like i, I started wearing baggy t-shirts and shit because i just hated the way i looked i literally was built like this front and back like this was me from the side and this is me from the back this was me from the front like i did not like that shit and it started to really fuck with my head and shit and i started getting really insecure blah 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 I wasn't happy and if you're not happy with something go change it like the fuck yeah so that's why I did it um how long to heal so fully six months after six months I'm back to normal um so six months is to uh, total to fully heal um I'm at 10 days so I got a long way um massages so this is a very controversial thing, I guess. I already had somebody comment on it. No, I did not get lymphatic massages. My doctor said I did not have to. Um, it's my choice. I actually think I am about to go get one. I'm about to research who does it in Houston. I think I'm about to go do them. But no, my doctor did not. He didn't do that. Like he said, I don't have to. And I understand that like, if you watch other BBO videos, people get lymphatic massages. Yes, I understand people say they're important. But I trust my doctor. My doctor didn't do it, and he said I didn't need, I don't need to do it. I'm not gonna do it. Like he's Doctor Miami for a reason. The fuck, like he did, he he does shit a little different. But no, I have not had any massages. But I think I am about to go get some done just to. I feel like it'll make me feel better. I don't know. But yeah, so before the doctors come in my comments talk about they're so important. Yes, I know that, but I guess he. Just does shit differently. I don't know. But yeah. So no all massages. Uh, what did you need to do the day of? Um, basically, so the night before, you can't eat, eat past 12. Um, and then I woke up. You have to take a shower. You have to wash your hair. Um, and then you can't put any... You can't wash your face like with uh, your cleanser. You can't put anything on your face. No lotion. No deodorant. 
and then you have to take this pill for nausea, nausea an hour before you go to the office, but that's pretty much it. Um, how is recovery going? It's going great. Um, I'm doing pretty good. I'm still wearing my, I have to wear my uh, garment for six weeks. Um, and then after the six weeks, I'm going to go back to waist training and I'm probably going to wear my, I just ordered my Faja yesterday, my stage two Faja, so yeah. Um, how did you choose your doctor? So in all reality, basically my man just DM'd him. It was like, hey, my wife wants a surgery. He was like, bet, let's do it. But yeah, I, we just got lucky. And there was an opening literally three, literally three weeks after the DM and I went and did it. Um, I did look at other people in Houston, um, but I just chose Dr. Miami. Um, any tips? um go with like ne don't do your surgery by yourself like because like my nurses that yeah they were there to help me out and shit but like they're not like my boyfriend was there to bring me food and like in the middle of the night like say i needed him to help me with something like he was there definitely go with somebody to do your surgery don't do this shit alone um other than that tips so don't be scared like it's not bad i was I was scared as fuck, like, ugh, let me tell y'all. So I think I was so nervous and scared that like, I made myself sick. Like the day before, like I started getting like, my temperature started going to like 100, like, oh fuck. Um, I started getting a headache. I think I made myself sick cause I was thinking about it way too much. Um, to where like the day of, I was not gonna, I was not gonna go to surgery. Like I, I was already texting the nurse like, hey, I think I'm sick. But then I ended up, when I got there, like, I relaxed and my temperature went back to normal. Like, I was A-OK. -okay. Like, I was just tripping. Don't be scared. Don't stress because your doctor is trained to do this. Like, he doesn't want to kill you just as much as you don't want to die. You know what I'm saying? Like, just don't stress. Just go and do it. I promise you it's going to be the best decision of your life. Like, I'm so, I'm so happy I did this. Like, y'all have no idea. Like, I regret not doing this sooner. But whatever. Yeah. So that's my tip, just don't be scared. Did it seem quick? Um, I'm not sure what they mean by this. I don't know if they mean like my surgery itself. Yes, like literally, I went in the room, he put the medicine in me, the anesthesia, and um, the, he, put, he put two different me medicines, I think, I'm not sure. The first one made me like woozy, like I was just staring at the wall, I mean at the ceiling, and then he said good night, and I passed out, and then I woke up in the recovery area like it seemed like in a blink of an eye i was done but in reality i think my i got out of there at one o'clock so it's probably like a three hour surgery but yeah so yeah it did seem super quick were you scared hell yeah i just explained my whole story i was fucking scared and i don't like out of everything i was scared of the anesthesia like i had never i've never been under i've never had any type of surgeries other, other than my c-section but they don't put you to sleep for that um I was so scared of going under. Like, I was like, what happens when you, like, I, the whole week I was Googling, what happens when you go under anesthesia? Do you dream? Like, I was just, like, freaking out about that. And that was literally, it was so easy. You just went to sleep and woke up. But, yeah, that was, I wasn't scared about the healing, the pain. I was scared of going to sleep. I don't know why. Uh, what's the most painful part? Getting up and laying down definitely especially that day after uh the nurses are like come on get up like oh fuck like that shit hurt and then laying down that's actually still hurts today like getting up and laying down and then getting them fucking because i have drains i had one in the front one in the back the front wasn't too bad when they took them out that back drain i literally started like sobbing crying like that shit hurt so bad that probably I want to say that was the most painful part was getting my drains taken out. That shit is not a joke. That shit hurts really bad. I'm just going to tell you now, that's probably the only painful thing you're going to go through is the drains. That shit was intense. I was crying my ass off. I don't know what it was. It was like a burning sensation and like hurt the back one. I don't know. It was horrible. Um, were you sore after surgery? Yes. That's really all you're going through. You're just sore. Like I'm still sore right now a little bit like on my stomach. I guess because I'm laying on it. But yeah, very sore. That's the pain you're feeling. You just feel like you've just been beat up.
Like it, yes, very sore. Um, what can you eat or not eat before and after surgery? Um, I know for the first three days I couldn't eat fried food, spicy food, or anything red. I'm not sure why, but I fucked up. I didn't know that. And like my first meal, fresh out of surgery, I had spicy um, McDonald's nuggets. I fucked up. But yeah, I didn't know. But yeah, that's pretty much. But after them three days, you're good to eat whatever you want. Like I'm eat, I eat whatever I want right now. Um, should I wait till I'm done with kids to get the surgery? I mean, I'm not done with kids. But I don't see, I, I mean, I tried this whole year and it didn't work. So, like, I was like, fuck it, I'm going to get my body done. But, I mean, I guess, yeah, it would be smart to do it when you're done with kids. But, like, I don't, I mean, I'm not done. I probably have kids in, like, four or five years now. But, yeah. But, I mean, shit, it's up to you. But I guess, yeah, it would be better to have all your kids. Um, is it hard to use the restroom? No, it's not hard at all. Even like the first time I used a restroom after surgery, it wasn't hard. You just, um, what I do is I saw it on YouTube. I roll um, a towel up, put it on the edge of the seat, and basically you're like squatting. I still like, obviously I can't sit for like four more weeks, but excuse me. It's not hard. It's not a big deal. You just squat and you're put, the towel kind of like relieves the pressure off your butt. I don't know. Maybe I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. I feel like I'm not explaining it well enough. Um, but yeah, I know it's not hard. Was it as painful as you thought? No, not at all. I thought I was going to be like dying after surgery. And I, 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 it probably looks like I was, but more straight, fresh out of surgery when I did that video, I was weak. Like that's what it was. Like I was, you just feel so weak and like, like you're, I was still in and out from the um, sedation or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I wasn't in pain until the next day. The day after my surgery is when I started getting real sore. But I thought it was going to be way worse than what it actually was. Um, do I regret it? Hell no. I regret not doing it sooner. Uh, what does Peso, your boyfriend, think? Um, he loves it. Like, I mean, he loved me before. So, I mean, he's just like, oh, he got a bigger ass. Like, I guess, yeah, he likes it. Um, re I like summarize the questions, but revision in the future, going bigger. Um, yeah, I will, I'm. This definitely is not my last surgery. Like, I'm definitely gonna go back. Like, say I gain weight, or say, especially after I have another kid, I'm going back. Um, my butt isn't as big as I wanted, um, but I also didn't have a lot of fat, so I can't get mad. And then I, t I he put most of my fat in my hips. Um, Cause I had a really ugly ass hip dips. I had no shape. Like I said, I was like this. So now I'm like this. So I guess, yeah, I do, I do want my butt bigger. So yeah, I'm definitely going to go back in the future. Um, painful to take off drains. Hell yes. I explained that it was super fucking painful. Um, any scars? So I don't have any scars. Um, with a BBL, you're not getting cut. Like for my C-section, I have a scar cause I was cut. Um, BBL, what they do is like, they poke holes. Like, I don't know if, probably can't see anymore. But they poke holes and like, they're already gone. And like where my stitches were, I don't know if you can see that one. Um, like that, I had a stitch right there. Basically no scarring, like that's gonna go away eventually. Um, how long have you wanted a BBL? I've been researching a BBL probably for over a year now. Like it came up in the top, like when I, I brought it up to my man and I was talking about it. But, like, I just kind of, like, it was just, like, a topic that day. And then I've been doing research on it for a long time, though. So, yeah, probably, I guess, over a year. Um, when can you sit? I can sit in four more weeks. Well, they say four weeks, but I'm going to wait it out. Like, I don't want to mess anything up. So, I'm going to sit in, in four more weeks because I'm two weeks post-op. Well, I'm about to be three weeks post-op. So, in two more weeks, I'll be able to sit, technically. Um... Any items you recommend to buy? Um, your garments and your fajas, of course. Um, um, nothing really, nothing else really, because there's nothing really special you need for the surgery. Like I'm back wearing my normal clothes. The only thing is that you do need your fajas and your garments, so you, you do have to buy that. Oh, that's it.
Oh shit. Oh wait, oh that's it. But yeah, that was all the questions I had. Um, I hope I answered them all with enough detail. Um, but yeah, so I guess after this, maybe next week, I'm gonna go ahead and do my try on haul. I'm still waiting on some clothes to come in the mail. But yeah, so that was, these questions, I answered them based on my experience. Like, let me tell you right now, like, like I said, I researched BBLs for this whole year and every video I've watched, I can't relate to any of them. Like your experience is not gonna be like mine. Like all these questions I answered about pain and this, it might not be like that for you. So don't like, don't go into your surgery thinking, oh, well, she said this hurt and this didn't hurt. No, like everyone, everyone's experience is different. Everybody's pain level is completely different. I've seen videos where this girl was crying for like three days. I've seen this video where this girl said she had literally, literally no pain. I was more like in the middle i had kind of pain but not really um but yeah so that was based on my experience like i said um so i hope i answered them enough um i think i'm gonna go ahead and do like a little body shot just to show y'all what i look like okay so this is what i look like before i wore this dress to miami like last year and i was a fucking box in it um, I, I do have my garment under, but yeah, um, so this is what I look like, you know, I got the shape that I wanted and, you know, my butt's definitely bigger than it was. I had no ass before, so I think, I think it's like just right for me. Like I'm little, I'm sure I don't need a big old booty, but yeah, this is what I look like. I know people come asking, do a body reveal, whatever, whatever. So this is what I look like. Um, I'm not really that, I'm still a little bit swollen right here, but that should be going down soon. But yeah, let me just show y'all one more time. And I don't think I look too fake, but I know haters gonna hate and say, oh, you're fake. You're fake. But yeah, so this is what I look like. But yeah, so I just showed y'all my body. I know y'all were asking for that. So that's what I look like. I am extremely happy with the results. Um, yeah, so that was my experience. Um... If you're thinking about getting a BBL or about to get one, props to you. Like, this shit, like, do it for you, you know? Like, if you don't like something, go get it done. Who cares what society has to say about shit? Like, yeah, I'm proud to say I got my body done. Yes, I did. And I love it. Like, I don't get why people have such a, make a big deal out of plastic surgery. Like, if you have the money, go do it. If you have the time, go do it. Like, go do it. Go get that BBL do it <laughs> but yeah um so yeah that's my video my q a day i'll be back next week with another video i'm gonna do my try on haul once all my clothes gets here but yeah y'all go and follow me on instagram i think my uh at is in my bio i think if not i'm gonna put it in the description box below but yeah thank y'all for watching and i will see y'all next week